Hey guys, it's TechRacer and today I'm going to see how to flash the official Hydrogen OS based on Android Pie on the OnePlus 5T. Now this procedure is exactly same for the OnePlus 5 also. So before proceeding, make sure that your phone is running on the latest Oxygen OS Open Beta build. As you can see, mine is running on the Oxygen OS Open Beta 19 and it's based on Android version 8.1.0 with the latest security patch. Now the link for the zip file is in the description so you can go and download it from there. Now once you download the zip file, make sure you copy it onto the root of your internal storage then simply go to settings, scroll up, go to system updates, tap on the gear icon, choose local upgrade and select the hydrogen OS zip file and it will say that uh, it might cause a boot failure so simply ignore it and click on upgrade now. Now this will flash the hydrogen OS zip file onto your phone so just be patient and let the device completely boot. So guys as you can see the phone has been booted and as you have seen the hydrogen OS boot animation so it means that you have successfully migrated from oxygen OS to hydrogen OS so let me quickly unlock my device so guys as you can see the phone has been booted and first of all as you can see all the apps and settings are retained so you do not need to worry about losing your data so you can simply flash the update now simply first go to settings and let's check out the android version as you can see now we have the new UI for the about phone and as you can see android version is 9 and it's based on android pie as you can see and below that we have the 1st of november 2018 as a security patch so it's the latest security patch and hydrogen os beta 20 as you can see so let's simply go back and if we look about the settings as you can see at the top we have the search bar and below that we have the wi-fi and internet and as you can see all the network options are categorized properly we do have a new oneplus roaming feature as you can see so you have to set up this oneplus roaming uh, according to the need then below that we have the bluetooth and device communication so we do have a bluetooth and nfc is also working super fine so we do not have any issues with that then if we go to display as you can see most of the options are the same as you can see we have the reading mode the screen calibration then we do have the ambient display it is again the same as the oxygen os below that we have the theme uh, now instead of default we have now the colorful theme and uh, below that we have the same font size and the status bar icons to be modified now if we go to sound again we have the same use interface or the same uh, settings which are available in the oxygen os below that we have the buttons and gestures as you can see now we have the alert slider settings which is moved to the buttons and gestures and if we go to the setting we can change the mode according to our need so let's try the alert slider as you can see now we have the different style of uh, alert slider as you can see it shows on which mode it is currently on so that's pretty good thing then below that we have the navigation gestures so the gestures are exactly the same which we used to get uh, previously as you can see so these are the oneplus gestures uh, which we used to previously get on the oxygen os then you have the pill style as you can see home and back so this we usually get with the android pie and it's pretty good and works almost fine but let's simply jump back to the buttons itself so below that we have the three new uh, gestures as you can see we can activate the assistant app so what this does is that simply hold the volume button for 0.5 seconds and it will activate the google assistant as you can see and then we have the swipe fingerprint on the notification to uh, bring down the uh, quick toggles as you can see so these were the gestures which were previously available below that we have the battery now we have whole new design for the battery usage as well as you can see and we also have the adaptive battery which is the native android pi feature and we also have the battery optimizations which we used to get on the oxygen os as well now below that we have the storage and it is exactly the same and then we have the security unlock screen again exactly the same you can set up the face unlock you can also set up the fingerprint from here then below that we have utilities now the utilities section is also uh, properly categorized as you can see the app locker has been moved from the security to the utilities section so keep that in mind now below that we have the system and about phone and the system we get all the necessary options for uh, changing the system settings so this is it from this settings now let's quickly jump into the camera and the camera app is exactly the same let's quickly check out the version so the camera app version is version 3.0.8 so it's the new version and we have few changes in the icon as you can see now we have the auto hdr mode and we also have the google lens integration into the camera as you can see 
so that's pretty good thing now let's quickly check out the recent panel as you can see now we have the whole new style of recent panel and it quite a bit looks like the android pie and as you can see it's quite smooth and if you want to open any app simply tap on it and if you want to close any of the apps then you can say simply swipe up and it will close the app now there are three dots at the top which allows us to use it as a split screen as you can see we can use it as a split screen if we want so that's pretty good since guys this is the chinese build so there is a bit of uh, junkware or the plotware but it can be simply uninstalled by pressing and holding it and clicking on uninstall so you do not need to worry about that as you can see we also get a new style of oneplus launcher as you can see let's quickly go to about the launcher as you can see it's version 3.1.4 and uh, we have the new style of uh, the oneplus shelf as you can see so phone is running extremely smooth and super fine so you do not have any issues with that and the oxygen os open beta for android pie will be released anytime soon and video on that will also be uploaded on the channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel as well so this is it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching